And so our second school is uh, Menlo School. So a little brief introduction about Menlo. One key factor that we have heard from parents is that it is a little bit more difficult to get into without inside connections. We'll get more into that in the parent feedback. We have some quotes regarding that. Um, the address is in Atherton and the main grade entrance is six and nine. It is a school that is for grades six through 12. There is no uh, elementary or lower school. Uh, the teacher to student ratio is one to six. And then their tuition is pretty much the same as Nueva's uh, five through 12 tuition range, just about, uh, I would say, uh, two, uh, about $800 more a year. It's at 53,000, uh, sorry, $80 more, 53,430, my mistake. And then the average GPA unweighted is 3.97. So that is uh, the GPA when you don't include for AP courses. Um, and then uh, for more basic information, about 75% of teachers hold advanced degrees. And then for the 2019 and 2020 uh, UC admission rates uh, for UC Berkeley, uh, about 30, I'm sorry, 18% uh, were admitted in 2019. And then that number went up by about a percent to 19.7% in 2020. So the increase is definitely good. And then for UCLA, you definitely saw an increase as well well by even more, 7% from 12.66 in 2019 to 19.72 in 2020. Next, we're gonna cover the key characteristics of Menlo. And so to start off, uh, they do have an emphasis on sports and arts. Uh, more information on this, around 100% of their students, 100% of their students participate in creative arts during high school. Uh, some creative arts classes that they do offer are studio art, graphic art, photography, orchestra, jazz, chamber music, chorus, movie making, dance, drama, and percussion. So as you can see, they definitely have a lot of niche and specific uh, creative arts classes for students to uh, get interested in and take while they are at Menlo. And then for sports, 80% uh, of upper school students play at least one sport. Uh, and more information on some of their sports success. Uh, they've had over the past five years, uh, won 16 Central Coast section or CCS championships and 11 uh, CCS scholastic team championships. Basically a CCS scholastic team championship is a team that has the highest uh, cumulative GPA. Uh, so they definitely care about academics and sports uh, in, com in combination. For their uh, STEM-focused and personalized programs, there are two uh, STEM-focused ones that were definitely worth noting. They have an apply, Applied Science Research Program, or ASR, where students are able to design, do experiments, and uh, analyze data. They work on campus, or they can either intern at a local university uh, or company uh, under a mentor, and essentially, uh, what they will do is after the first semester, uh, during their second semester, they will be able to write a science or engineering paper, whichever uh, kind of specific topic they chose, and give a presentation. And then finally, uh, one of the main benefits of the ASR, Applied Science Research Program, is that students will have the opportunity to have their paper be published in a science slash engineering journal, which is definitely very beneficial. Uh, most students don't have the ability to get published in a scientific journal until uh, grad school. Uh, you even have to get lucky to get one in undergrad. So the ability to have one published in high school is definitely a very good benefit for students who are interested in science research to get ahead of their peers and uh, get interested in this topic before college. And then they also have their bio research program, biotech research program, uh, where students learn lab techniques in subjects such as molecular uh, biology, biochemistry, immunolocalization, and cell culture. And for this program, they'll design and carry out independent research projects, uh, either in school or in a lab at a local uh, academic lab. And then thirdly, uh, Menlo also has uh, interdisciplinary and personalized scholar program, which is their Menlo IP. And essentially the, the main goal for this is, is that it is designed to allow students to form a more personalized approach to their studies so they feel like they can get more out of it and it's more for them, similar to Nueva in a small uh, aspect, but definitely different. Uh, there are three kind of concentrations that they have, which they 
kind of compared to college concentrations. Uh, one is arts and letters, which focuses more on writing and uh, kind of critiquing scholarly writings. And then they have citizenship and leadership, which is more focused on public policy and then uh, community engagement and impact, which focuses on uh, looking in the community and trying to be a problem solver for the issues that are uh, in the community or in society. And then lastly, I do wanna have a notable program, which is their Global Online Academy me very quickly. This one is very interesting because it, it'll, it allows students to take fully online courses uh, that are hosted by other uh, institutions, at, both domestically and internationally as well. It allows students to take classes that they probably wouldn't be offered uh, in the Bay Area, so it allows them to uh, broaden their learning scope and uh, kind of get interested in topics uh, that most students probably wouldn't be able to. So that's just a little introduction on their uh, STEM focused and personalized uh, programs. So uh, now we'll get into some feedback from parents that we've seen. So here is a couple quotes. Uh, the first one said that uh, we are in our second year at Menlo as a seventh grader. Uh, they are kind and they do uh, many community product projects uh, from what I've seen. Uh, but we did, since we did start from the pandemic, it is a little bit hard to say. So this parent uh, is in their second year at Menlo. They started at the bottom grade in grade six. They've had a good experience so far, but it's a little bit hard to see because they did start during the pandemic. And then the second quote is they admit a lot of siblings, around 50% of the class. Uh, there's a sibling admissions talk on with all that to say. It depends on how many siblings are applying that year uh, to give you an idea on how many spots are really open. Uh, Menlo wasn't a school that they actually thought they'd get into but or get accepted, um, but they were able to actually get in. Uh, they hadn't visited yet, but uh, their daughter definitely liked uh, the school and they chose it when they're admitted. And then our third one is uh, from attending all of the admission events, it's hard to say uh, what they look for from year to year. It could be that they want to fill their drama or basketball team as their star player is graduating, uh, but they do look uh, they do look to even the class out with uh, the amount of girls, boys, ethnicities, economic uh, diversity, et cetera. Uh, we just tried to present uh, as great of a kid as we have, but everyone else does that. So it does show that they do um, from this feedback that there is it is a little bit hard to get into if you don't have a sibling there but there is a possibility as uh, the second parent did say um and they do seem to be happy at the school right now um so this is it for the second school of menlo but we'll get into uh, our third school